Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic which is adding a system in SAP HANA Studio. So when you connect first to SAP HANA Studio, you will not get any systems. Okay, so HANA Studio as you know is a client tool which we install whenever we start working on HANA. So you install HANA Studio in your PC. Once the Studio is installed, you start your HANA system, you start your HANA Studio and once the Studio is started, you will get this as a blank screen with this Welcome to Modeler screen. Okay, or you may get a welcome screen like this. Okay, so basically these are the two screens that you most probably get when you start working on the HANA system. Okay, so here the screen is coming up. So either you get this screen or you get this particular screen. If I close this, you can see that this is the screen that you will get. This is the welcome to modeler screen. Okay, so once you are in this particular screen, there are no systems on the left side. So what you need to do is you need to add system. So what is a system? System is actually your HANA databases. So whatever databases that you want to work on, you will add those databases, the HANA databases here. So how do we add them? We can just right click here and click on add system. Okay, so we can directly add the systems. Now let me add one system here and we will see that how that system gets added. What is the information we need to supply while adding the system. So first thing what we need to do is we need to add the host name or IP address of the system so that it will try to connect, establish connection with the system. And now it has the IP address or the host name. And second thing is it needs the system number. So when you do HANA database installation, it needs to be installed with a particular instance number, which is in this case is 00. And for security reason, you may use HTTPS connection for the SAP start service. So in case if your HANA database is enabled for HTTPS, you need to enable this option. Okay, in my case, it is not. So I will not select this option. Now, let me give some name to this. Okay, so this is a descriptive name. We can say, okay, SAP on a test system. Okay, so now this is the HANA test system and this ID indicates that this is the SID for the system just for the indicative purpose. Now here you can see that locale is English and add to the folder slash. Okay, we will see how we can create the folders there. Now let me click on next. So just take note of this information. This is your host name or IP address, instance number. So this instance number indicates that say for example, if the instance number is 00, so from your laptop or desktop, this particular port that is port number 36615. 36, so that port should be open. Otherwise you won't be able to connect. Okay, so this IP and the port number is that we just mentioned that this is the port number that should be enabled or that, that port should be. Okay, just to recap that if you want to connect to HANA system having IP address this, you should have port number 30015 open provided your system is list system number is 00. Say your system number is say 10. The port that should be opened is 31015. That is 3 system number and the port number. So that port must be opened. Okay, apart from that, there is another port which requ is required to be open, which is PI 